Hi, I'm Jim from Mercedes-Benz. I'm going to show you how to use Distronic Plus, the adaptive cruise control system in your vehicle. Distronic Plus is a Mercedes-Benz innovation that takes cruise control to the next level of convenience. It uses radar to monitor the distance to the car ahead of you. It automatically adjusts your cruising speed to the flow of traffic. It can even brake the car to a full stop, then resume automatically when traffic clears. Operating Distronic is a lot like our regular cruise control. All of the cruise control functions are combined on one stock, on the left side of the steering column. On some models, the stock is the uppermost one. But on most new models, it's moved to a new position as the lowest stock. This was based on customer feedback, and it puts the main turn signal stock in a more ergonomic location. To set a cruising speed above 20 miles per hour, move the lever up or down to the point of resistance. To increase your set speed, tap the lever up again. To decrease the setting, tap it down. In either direction, moving the lever to the resistance point changes your speed by one mile per hour. Most models show your set speed as markings on the scale of the speedometer. Pushing it past the resistance point changes your setting to the next five mile per hour increment, up or down. For example, if you're cruising at 57, pushing it up this way will increase your speed to an even 60. To cancel the cruise control, push the lever forward, away from you, or step on the brake. To resume cruising at your previously set speed, pull the stock toward you. Keep in mind that once you shut off the engine, this memory is cleared. In addition, a twist knob on the stock lets you vary the following distance to the traffic ahead. Ordinary cruise control can't do this. As you adjust it, the distance is shown in the instrument cluster. Distronic will automatically slow down when the car ahead does, and then speed back up when traffic flow allows it. If the traffic ahead brakes gently to a stop, Distronic can bring your vehicle to a stop too. If traffic starts going again within three seconds, your car will resume automatically. If you're paused for longer than three seconds, just tap the gas pedal or use the resume feature of the stock. Your car will accelerate up to your preset speed, as the flow of traffic allows. The stop and go feature is designed for normal traffic flow. If traffic ahead stops suddenly, an alarm will sound, alerting you to start braking on your own as urgently as possible. It's always important for the driver to remain focused on the road ahead. Even with the convenience of Distronic, controlling the vehicle is the driver's responsibility at all times. Also, please keep in mind these very important warnings. Distronic does not recognize the curvature of the road, nor can it predict the actions of other vehicles. It might not detect narrow vehicles like motorcycles, or vehicles in adjacent lanes. It cannot detect pedestrians, or react to stationary objects. And you shouldn't use any type of cruise control on slippery or curving roadways, nor on city streets. Please read your operator's manual and become familiar with Distronic Plus before using it. If you have any questions or need assistance, your Mercedes-Benz dealer will be happy to help. Thanks for watching.